Good morning, everybody. It is May 31st, 2024. It is 9 o'clock in the morning. Exactly. Okay. So, today I thought I would try something a little different. Um... Or a little new, or however you want to say it. Um, I haven't, first of all, I need to say I haven't had a lot of sleep. Um, I've had 51 minutes of sleep in the last, well, at 2 o'clock today, it'll be three days. It'll be an hour and 51 minutes, I think, or two hours and 51 minutes and three days. So yeah, so just so you know, <laughs> for some reason, it's every time I lay down, I can't sleep for very long, and I wake up coughing, and sometimes I cough so hard that I throw up, so I guess it's just best that I don't sleep, and I don't, uh, I do better whenever I'm in my rocker recliner, like Grandpa Paxton used to do, he used to sleep in his rocker recliner. So, I might have to start doing that. Um, okay, so anyway, <laughs> I was thinking this morning, I was like, I need to do something. I was like, what can I do? What can I do that isn't something that I've done before? And I don't have all the right equipment, obviously, as everybody can tell, and all the good, you know, stuff. Uh, but, um, so I just thought that I would do something. I was like, people would think it was hilarious if they watched me react to Ben's reactions, to Casper Side's reactions, because I have such a good time whenever I watch his videos, and I just feel so comfortable watching his videos and stuff, that I'm just like... I just say all kinds of stuff and I'm just like talking and like doing all kinds of reactions and stuff like that. And a lot of times I don't do that um, anymore. I used to a lot, especially whenever I watch something for the first time. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, if you can tell, like this is like my desk area that I made. This is the top of the dresser. And all my stuff on my... It's pretty organized. So, but there's a lot of stuff on it. I evidently like a lot of stuff on stuff, evidently. <laughs> no idea. Anyway, so, um, so this is going to be me reacting to Ben's Casper Sites. Um, new video that I haven't watched. This is the first time watching. Uh, it's titled, Even if you're not into ghost videos, you need to see these. So, okay. So this is the first time that I've ever watched this. And this was posted two months ago. So, I've, you've heard me talk about Ben and my other videos and stuff like that on Casper's site. So, now you're going to get to see who he really is. So, he's fun. He's fun. You like him. He's fun. He's funny. He's hilarious. I laugh a lot. I might not laugh so much this morning. It'll just depend because I haven't had a lot of sleep. And, but I took some B vitamins and I've drank coffee and... That stuff will wake me up, so. So, we'll see. I feel a lot more awake than I did earlier. <laughs> so, he's cracking me up. He's got chicken skin. There's his chicken skin. I have no idea if you're going to be able to see this or not. I guess I'm going to try to do, um, or hear it, for that matter. Oh, lovely. That's lovely and dozy, right? Little 
but you know those gifts I'll make um, that keep on opening up before like a top five. Well, I'm not gonna do it this one because I'm gonna do it live. They're <laughs> out there piling up, okay? I'm gonna do it live like I did last time because that was so cool. So okay, I'm gonna go sound. straight into the video There's for today. After yesterday's epic alien and UFO video, mate. I love that, man. Thank you so much for the kind words, right? You absolute legends and welcome to the new subscribers. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site today. We are looking into the realm of lore. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and this one is called Five Scary Ghost Videos to Stir Up Your Amnesia. No? To Stir Up Your Insomnia. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a Insomnia. channel. Yeah, that's a me. fantastic <laughs> channel with 360,000 subscribers, okay? The oh. channel is Death. <laughs> Yeah. This is what I do. <laughs> and do the thing. <laughs> Dilly day. Let's do this. Go on, Deb says despair. Come on. The bond of bond. Whitney is a bond worker who works at the bond, taking care of many different races. <laughs> <laughs> Not working on a board. Ben is a YouTuber. He makes YouTube videos. Today, he's making YouTube videos because he is a YouTuber. <laughs> Come on! After spending some time working there, everything seems fine and she enjoys working with the horses. But eventually, some strange, unexplainable things have started to occur. Things that even the horses themselves can't ignore. The barn location is supposedly built over grounds where two Native American tribes fought over in the past. And also, it was built on a graveyard. <laughs> it all started one day while she was recording herself going to play with one of the cats. When something creepy is captured, watch closely. Okay, so watch closely, so... Lenny. Hey! What's a cat? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah. <laughs> oh crap, I paused it. It's like that film Benny Ho, isn't it? Because it's home. No, because no. It's like that film No. I haven't seen that. Nope. I haven't seen the movie Nope. My hair goes sticking up now. It's all messed up. Okay, there we go. Nope. <laughs> it and some other objects fall on the floor on their own. And when she puts them back up and walks away, they fall off again, causing her to get scared and leave the area. On another day, she goes out to lead the horses back to the barn when something chilling can be heard. No, these horses are so freaked out they're blindfolding themselves. Oh. <laughs> Distance. Sorry. There must be racing horses. I just not thought of that. Yeah, that was clear as day. Oh, my goodness gracious me, mate. Oh, hear that, baby? <laughs> Sounds like a baby laughing can be heard coming from somewhere in the woods. But 
it doesn't stop there. On another night, she comes to lead two of the horses when they all stop and hear it. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at the chicken. He's got chicken skin. Chicken skin. <laughs> at first, we heard a baby cry. Like, <laughs> oh, lovely and, lovely and dozy, right? I don't know what dozy is, but it's lovely and dozy. <laughs> and then it goes straight from the other end of the spectrum. To... <laughs> I know, right? The horses stopped dead in their tracks. The page, and immediately the horses stop in their tracks along with Whitney herself. And a few seconds afterwards, a disturbing laugh can be heard. Oh, mate, that makes sounds like he's cr up, man. Sounds like he's crying. Oh. Whatever it was, it's scary enough that even the horses were too disturbed to move. The next day, one of the horses saw something that caused it to start behaving frantically in a panic. You gotta calm down. I ain't taking a ride like that. Oh. I don't know what you see, but you gotta calm down, bud. There's nothing over there. Oh my god, mate. You can't take this sort of stuff, mate. I know, right? The horse starts pacing around in the stable and then stops and stares off in the same direction as if it is afraid of something it sees nearby. On another night, all of the horses start acting up and seem to be completely terrified, running around and not listening. So Whitney has to spend most of the night guiding them all. Knowing that something is off, she begins to record as she makes her way back. This is what she captured. Oh, hey! Come on! It's a fucking alien! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <gasps> oh, no, 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 listen. Did it say help or ha Oh, my God. Hell? Sounds like hell or help. No way, mate. This video clip is absolutely incredible. Mm. It's incredible. Looks like a white figure can be seen within the darkness, along with a creepy voice. Afterwards, at first I thought this specific capture was just a tree and a case of pareidolia. However, if you listen to the disembodied voice, it sounds like it says, how did you not see me? Although, no, it doesn't. No, it's not done. No, it's done. <laughs> no, 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 no. It gets quieter after that. I'll tell you time. what. Listen closely. Shush. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, mate. How did you not see me? Oh, God! 
Oh, my cat let this one off when he's at the sea. My radio did the same thing. I just thought about that. I should have recorded it. My radio was doing the same thing whenever I was told to listen to the radio the other night. <laughs> the radio turns on by itself out of nowhere. What's worse is that it begins to get distorted and starts changing on its own, as if something is causing an electronic interference. And some viewers pointed out that it sounds like the song lyrics says somebody murdered us. <laughs> <laughs> no! So it is a ghost bastard. Oh my god, mate. This has got to be one of the best clips I've ever seen. It's pretty dang good. Oh, Compared to the and conjuring and house. Mm. And then two bangs are heard on the wall. And that's when she decides she's had enough and just up and leaves. As she goes to check on the horses, she hears this. Oh, Footsteps are heard coming from within the barn, even though there's nobody else around. Yes. On another snowy night, while watching one of the horses, this happens. Oh my god, oh my god and the horse. That didn't look like a night vision camera.
I know what this one is. The abandoned school. Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill yeah. set out to explore an abandoned building in Cleveland, Ohio. I've seen this one, but where were we going to go with it anyway? That shut down when there wasn't enough students enrolling into the school, leaving the place to be abandoned. The location surrounding the school was once safe grounds, but as time goes on, the level of violence increases. Just recently, around oh. nine months ago, a 16-year-old teen unfortunately lost his life in a shooting right on the front doorsteps of this very same school previously we saw the first part of this exploration. oh so this is the second part i've not seen this bit mate okay 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 this is good where chris okay. captured a dark shadow yeah by fucking running like camera. the speed of me and you say <laughs> that has moved places yeah he believes that someone is present in the building Despite this, he continues exploring anyway. Ooh. And after exploring the underground levels, he captures something awfully disturbing. Take a look. Hey, oh, that's that's fresh blood too. Oh, my God. Oh, shit, there's a bunch. Oh, hey. There's... Oh, there's a trail of blood. Oh, hey. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Would you go in there? This is six, six. <laughs> oh. Railroad! It. That's right. Railroad. Like I'm not afraid of Satan. I would run through that class. I ain't afraid of no yeah. ghosts. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Roll into that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my shoe. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't look up. 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 Satanist. <laughs> but that does look real. Hey, don't touch it. Don't... Oh, shit. I know, right? And then you have your DNA all over it. Yo, you're completely pissed. <laughs> oh, mate. What? He shot himself in the ass. <laughs> shot himself in the ass. Some additional narration is required. You see, unfortunately, at this exact moment, my camera stopped recording, but I immediately noticed and pressed record to continue filming. I also want to point out that normally in a situation like this, I would have remained calm. But after hearing the stories of the murder that took place here and seeing what looks like blood and bullet casings on the floor, I decided to leave instead of investigating any further. Mm -hmm. I was looking at what's on the top part. In the lower levels of the building, he finds a fresh blood trail leading to a door. What was that? What was that? Was that a bag of bollocks or something? What is that? Leading to a door that says 666. After entering the room, he discovered blood along with a shoe and some bullet cases. I bet it's food. You know that's why we have 999 for these emergency calls. Like, my on the old telephones, you would, you, you would turn it 
turn to nine, and it would go to six. Six. <laughs> six. Huh? <laughs> or if you're American, nine one one. Nine one one. Well, no, no. Nine one one. That's not that hey, good. Mama, there is an emergency here at this location. <laughs> Can you call nine one one? We need to call nine one one for our emergency. Nine one one. Six one one. <laughs> one one six. A few seconds later, he hears some noises coming from the next room, along with a voice. And after what he saw on the floor, along with hearing about the teenage boy who lost his life here, he makes the wise decision to not proceed any further and just leave the building. What makes this even more creepy is that if we listen to the voice that was heard, it very clearly says, I am bleeding. Listen. This oh. makes you wonder if someone hey. was actually in need of help around the corner, or if it was just a trap to lure you in, or perhaps something more sinister. Mate, if I was bleeding out of the ass, or whatever he's bleeding from, I would be like, I am bleeding. I'd be like, I'm bleeding! <laughs> set up around the building captured something chilling <laughs> did you see no the no mirror seems to be reflecting this area of the wall here yet in the reflection we can see a creepy figure moving across that seems invisible <laughs> on the see. actual path the camera also captured a strange smoke anomaly coming from the same area. So just what exactly is lurking inside? Mm. I think the stuff found in the building clearly suggests that another person was in there with Chris. Oof. But it also seems as though something more sinister is roaming the same building. Oh, mate, that's horrible, man. Place. That's horrible. If you have any video recommendations, mm. you can send them over to mm. Tips of Despair Business I at gmail.com. Mm. I've seen stuff like that. The a man named Leon owns a clown doll, which may not seem all that creepy to some, but he says a few nights ago something happened. For some reason, he doesn't want to go into detail on the incident, but he explains that as a result of it, he decided to move the clown doll into a closet in one of the rooms. He wanted to dispose of it. But it's an expensive collectible and his family doesn't want to get rid of it so it remains in the closet but one day he randomly notices something creepy going on with the closet so he decides to record to see if he can capture it again Not wanting to see the activity, oh, his was she opening up the other door? Mum asks him to close the door. He then explains to her that the creepy doll is causing some activity that is disturbing the house and wants her to let him get rid of it. So he comes back to record some more. That's what I'm saying to make sure that nobody's doing it from the other side. If there was somebody in there, stood in there, right? Mm -hmm. um, you wouldn't be able to open those drawers unless there's another piece of wood at the base here. But a lot of them are wood, they, yeah, they would mm -hmm. have another piece of wood at the top there. Just get away, sir. Carry on. <laughs> Si no hay nadie que pueda meterse adentro y 
As you can see, the wardrobe rattles and moves on its own as if someone was trapped inside trying to get out. And occasionally, you can hear movement coming from within. Leon then goes around to show the back, showing that the wardrobes are fit tight against the wall and his hand can't even fit through the gap. So there's no chance a person could be behind it. He also shows the drawers attached to it to show that there's nothing that could explain what's going on. We all know that dolls are creepy, especially clown dolls. So hopefully his family made the right choice to get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, what did they? This makes me wonder. A woman found a strange creepy painting on the wall in one of the rooms of the family's house through a crawl space. One of the kids already says that he talks to the painting and its name is Gilbert. Later, she captures her niece talking to the supposedly haunted painting. Hey, I'm not having that. No effing way. strange events seem to go on for a while as her niece slowly gets more and more addicted to talking with the painting or whatever is in the room known as Gilbert. On another day she can be seen talking with Gilbert once again saying he can't touch cold things. He can't touch cold things because he's the sun. Mm -hmm. start to get weirder when she captures her niece singing songs about the sunshine while banging on the floor. Sunshine on a rain, I see it in the darkness, <laughs> I see it in the light. Make me feel, make me feel like I belong. Good shit, let's carry on. Looking for something. After waiting for her to go to bed, they investigate the area and discover that one of the floorboards is loose and decide to see what's underneath. This could be an eyeball or something. After opening, <gasps> they discover a Ouija board. How convenient! <laughs> a Ouija 
Get your board. Mm. <laughs> Which says Gilbert on the With back. the sun! With the sun oh, on it. Maybe on the other side of the room mm. is the moon. And has a picture of the sun on it. After questioning her niece as to how she knew there was something around there, she responded, Gilbert told her because the floor was wobbly. Only because the floor was wobbly. Mm, still kind of is, isn't it? Yeah. Mate, I won't go walk on that oh, floor yeah. with a pair of teeth. Yeah. yeah. What was that? Just kind of is, isn't it? Yeah. Still kind of is. Oh yeah, because there's like holes and stuff, isn't there? Yeah. Well. Unknown really to us, though. No. Oh my god, did you hear that? Yes, I did. Alright. Oh my god, did you hear that? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Toys in the room sometimes start to. Like, I, I, like, there's part of me that hopes that's real. I don't, I basically, I don't like children around this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Normal from your room, yeah. but stops when you enter the room. I just don't want the girls to have little nightmares and stuff about this. <laughs> they then investigate Tell the me about this. <laughs> and find a matching painting of a moon called Gloria. I knew it! Ah, yeah! Next to the, the sun, moon. The dog <gasps> on the shelf. Oh my god. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. If, I, I, uh, if the girl said, like, come on, we're going to have fun. We're going to make a uh, TikTok video. It's about spooky, ghosty, roasty. Stuff like that, we're gonna do this, then I suppose that's all right. But if they're it's considered a practical joke on her, and like and she doesn't know about it, I don't know. I think that's a little bit, it, it could really scare a little girl or a little boy, it could scare any little child. They are woken up right? to some strange sounds coming from the room with the paintings, only to capture something utterly terrifying. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> what? Oh my god, it's the moon on the floor. 